What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Coke Guy, coming at y'all with another video. In this video, we're going to get in my predictions for week 11. Before we start, hit that like, subscribe button, and let's ride. Starting off, we got Michigan versus Penn State. Penn State's getting four and a half points. They're at the house. They got a good team this year. Solid offense, solid defense. Michigan's definitely better, top to bottom. They got a bunch of bullshit going on with that uh, sign stealing shit, but I don't think that's going to change nothing on the field. I got Michigan winning it. I just think they're better top to bottom. I don't think being at the house is going to do anything for Penn State. I got Michigan winning it and covering the four and a half. Then we got Bama versus Kentucky. Kentucky's getting ten and a half. It's pretty simple. Got Bama winning it. Got Bama covering the ten and a half. Then we got Maryland versus Nebraska. Nebraska's getting two points. I got Maryland <clears throat> throttling Nebraska. They done got through their uh, the tough stage of the season pretty much. Their offense will be able should be able to go out there and do do what they normally like to do. And Nebraska, I don't think they'll be able to keep up with uh, two of the little brothers. Rakeem Jarrett and all them boys. Then we got Miami versus Florida State. Florida State's giving up 15. Miami's just been a dumpster fire lately. They just lost uh, North Carolina State last week. Only put up six points. Florida State's on a roll. I got Florida State winning. I think I take Miami with the points, though, just because it's a rivalry game. I don't think Florida State's going to straight blow them out. Then we got Tennessee at Mizzou. Mizzou's getting one point. I got Tennessee winning. I got Tennessee covering. <clears throat> I think their defense will be able to do enough against Mizzou. They, they haven't shown shown me anything to impress me. Tennessee hasn't either, but I think Tennessee's better better overall. And I think plus normally when a team getting a lot of hype like Mizzou was last week, and then they get beat by Georgia, normally. Normally, their season just spirals out of control after that. So, expect to see that from Mizzou this week. Then we got Utah against Washington. Washington's giving up nine points. I'm going to take Utah with the nine points most definitely. And I'm going to take Utah head up. If someone's going to upset and knock off Washington this season before uh, the Pac-12 championship, it's going to be Utah. So, I'm going to take them this week. See See if they pull it off. Then we got West Virginia against Oklahoma. Oklahoma coming off back-to-back -back losses to Kansas and Oklahoma State. They're giving up 12 and a half points. I'm going to take Oklahoma at the house to win this, bounce back, get revenge from the loss last year. I got Oklahoma. Then we got Ole Miss against Georgia. Georgia's giving up 11 and a half. I'm taking Georgia head up. I take Ole Miss with the points. Fuck it, Georgia ain't covered all year. Then we got Duke and North Carolina. I got North Carolina. They're giving up 12 points. I got them to cover the 12 points. <clears throat> Drake May and them should be able to go out there and, you know, run, run that offense with ease against Duke. I don't think Duke, Duke's done. The hype for them this year is over with. It's basketball season now. And then we got USC versus Oregon. USC's giving up 15 points. I mean, no. Oregon's giving up 15 points, my bad. I'm taking Oregon. USC done got three losses in their last four games. I don't see how they, they'll they be able to beat Oregon just from what they're showing on the field. They ain't got no defense. I got Oregon winning, covering. I don't know, but I take USC with the points just because just I don't think it'd be a straight-up blowout. But definitely got Oregon winning that game head up. Mr. Boy, Coke Gotti. Make sure you hit the like and subscribe button. I'm out.